What up, players? It's Wolboss Tip in this mud. Today we're reviewing a product from Gale Force 9 called Iron Chain 1.5mm. And uh, this is a hobby review, hobby product review. And I really love this stuff. It comes on a spool. And um, I remember a long time ago in the old Games Workshop website, there were, it was a terrible website, there was hardly enough pictures and inspirational things to see, but one of the things that really stuck with me was a picture of Jeremy Vetox Army, and he's a game designer at Games Workshop where they develop all these games, and his um, war boss on an orc, an orc war boss on a wyvern had, was holding the reins of the wyvern with chain, and, um, and I was like, that's really, really cool. And I think he said in the article that it was just jewelry chain that you could get from a hobby store because um, I guess for, for women who make beads or men who make beaded necklaces or bracelets and stuff, I guess they have this hobby chain. Um, but I, I couldn't ever find it. I couldn't ever see what he was looking, what, what, he was, um, what he had got. And all the hobby chains I found at the stores were very, they, they, they were like gold and they looked very much like a necklace. There was nothing that looked like real, you know, utilitarian 40k or even fantasy chain. So the fact that Gale Force 9 came out with this I think is really great. The price is pretty affordable con considering what you're getting. It's really affordable uh, considering how much chain you're getting and how little you actually need for a model. All you do is, um, it comes with some tape where the, the end of the chain is is taped to and then so you take it out of the out of the tape you get however much you need and then you clip it off with a pair of clippers and there you go instant awesome so let me show you some things that I used mine for and we'll even see if we can go through um, go through making something so let's see if I could find my corn space marine from, I think it particularly suits chaotic evil armies, but you can also use it for um, for th armies like Black Templar, uh, for good armies that have just a little touch of that, you know, very gothic style to them. Where are the models? Ah, uh, here we go. So for this one, Corn uh, World Eaters Champion, I decided to use a chain on to wrap it around the bolter to his hand kind of like that and this is before you spray prime because you want to be able to, to paint the um, the chain however you want it for this iron warriors model I wrapped it around his body Let's see if we focus I wrapped it around his body and then I attached it to a chaotic melta so really the amount of things you can do, oh and then I wrapped it around the barrel and then I glued it. So the amount of things you can do is really, really um, up to your imagination. In order to do this, I got my Melto gun and I glued it to the back of his legs and then I took the chain and I wrapped it around and then I put some super glue and then I made sure that the chain could attach and then I wrapped it around his body and wrapped it around the barrel once or twice and then glued it there. So the, the melta was already glued, but it gives the illusion that the melta is hanging freely. Okay, so let's actually try to do a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of this right now. So here I've got a Chaos Space Marine, and we're just going to create a little bit of a, um, of a holster, or not a holster, but a, a sling. So if you take a look at the Chaos Chosen that come in the, in the Dark Vengeance kit. One of them has this bolter with a little chain underslung here, and that's the effect that we're going to try to recreate right now. Okay, so I've got my, got my chain, got my clippers. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure out about how much, how much we're going to need. It's actually just a little bit more. So, if I attach that there, we don't want it to hang too low, but we don't want it to be too tight as well. So something like about that much. And then we're going to 
also glue it on the left side of the bolter because I um, converted this to have a, a combat blade on the end as like a bayonet. Maybe I'll wrap it around like that, that would be, that'd be pretty cool. Something like that maybe. And then glue the other end to the back. Actually zoom out a bit so we can not worry about the focus too much. Yeah, we'll see. A lot of this is just kind of <laughs> make it up as you go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my super glue and then glue it back here, get a nice bit going, and then take the end of the chain and kind of feed it through until it sticks. There's probably a more scientific way of doing this, but I found that just um, saturating the target area with your super glue and then leaving it there for just a second is really effective and holds it in place. Okay, so that should be long enough to stick it there. Then with the other side, I think we are going to wrap it around at least once. Yeah, something, we'll do something like uh, something like that. The only other way I can imagine doing it effectively would be to um, glue it like right under the combat blade. And that doesn't look too sturdy, so. I'm going to glue it like this, twice around, so it's wrapped nicely, and actually maybe once around is fine, since we're going to glue it to the, to the center, so I'm going to clip off the excess, right there, make sure it's set in place, and then glue that sucker down. Boom, and boom. And, there you have it. Hmm. I don't know. This guy's like, that don't look so good. I think what I'm going to do is Ah, don't let it dry. I think what I'm going to do is um, maybe just glue it to the left side cuz that's the side that you don't really see from the front, so it's not as um obtrusive. Sorry about that, folks. Yeah, so we could just make like it's it's hooked to the top. And oh, I hate when you get super glue on your fingers. There, and then we'll make like it's just kind of resting on the left side, hanging down. So we just reapply a little bit of glue. Boop, boop, boop. And there, that looks much better. It's not not a. Uh, Not as glaringly, like, what is that? The chain is on that side, the glue is gonna set it. The glue is gonna actually hold all of these links to the hand, the gauntlet, and the top of the bolter. Um, on the side, it's glued like underneath the back of the hand. So it just, it takes a little bit of fiddling. Um, you might get some glue on your fingers at the very beginning, but keep at it and you can get some pretty cool effects with this. I can also see you uh, using this for to decorate your vehicles. A lot of word bearers, or not word bearers, well, maybe word bearers, but a lot of world eaters have chains as a motif. Um, corn armies from fantasy and 40K use 
this motif a lot. So, so these are just some examples of the things that you can do. Here's one. Um, here's the corn guy with the chain around his around his arm there. And where's the last guy with the Melta strapped to his back? There we go. So, Gale Force 9, again, the company is Gale Force 9, they make a lot of scenery, a lot of really uh, cool, like, objective markers, gaming accessories, stuff like that, uh, templates, I think, they, I think they even come out with dice and stuff, and um, this 1.5mm chain is another thing that they create, and I'm really glad that more companies um, besides Games Workshop are getting into the hobby side of it so that you can kind of accessorize and um, enhance the look of your models and people will see it from across the table and um, it'll be eye-catching and eye-popping and that's why a lot of us got into the hobby in the first place you know to uh, build paint up really cool looking models so I'd love to hear from you guys do you use modeling chain uh, craft chain hobbies arts and crafts kind of chains like this what do you use it for what have you uh, figured out was the best way to use it obviously um, the way I thought to wrap it around the bolter and glue it at the beginning was not the most effective do you have you thought of a different way that you could use some of this like create a metal chain sling around your bolter and make it look awesome um, have you found a w method that works that's better than mine I'd love to get feedback from you guys let's get a discussion going and um, thanks for watching, supporting my videos, and for all the likes and all the comments. I do try to get back to everybody, but um, I just don't have much time nowadays. So keep leaving the comments, I enjoy reading them. I try to re uh, respond to all my private messages for anybody looking for immediate hobby tips. Usually private messaging me is the best thing to do. But um, yeah, that's it from Igor and the gang. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you got something out of it. I'm just leaving it here on these three guys so that this thumbnail will pop up when the video upload screen uh, for the, the video, the editing screen where I can choose a thumbnail pops in, so I'm just rambling now. Oh, and check out my project log on warseer.com. I'm just pretty much just taking the pictures from all of the Space Marine projects I'm doing, and I made a Space Marine project log on War. So check that out. Okay, thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.